Hey guys, it's the official Ephraim. Uh, I'm going to show you some three experiments you can do in your own house with household items. And it's pretty cool, so check it out. First, we've got two things. I'm not going to tell you what they are until after we're done. Uh, one is powder. One is liquid. You're probably already guessing and knowing what it is by now, but anyways... Uh, we're going to put the red food coloring in the liquid. Just some drops. Uh, we will then put the powder into this glass that I have sitting on the table. So we'll put this in here. And by the way, that powder is baking soda. So if you don't have any in your house, it's like 99 cents for a box at CBS or something. So, and then let's check on our red. Stir this around a little bit. Okay. Uh, I'm going to show you what it does, and then we're going to go into the next one, and I'll probably have to clean this up later. But just to tell you, this is vinegar. So if you haven't seen what baking soda and vinegar do together, it's pretty cool. So tell your mom something. Try it out. Here we go. And there you have it. That's what most science experiment volcanoes are made out of. But as you can see, it's bubbled over and we've pretty much got all the vinegar out on the tray now. So that's number one. Moving on. Okay, for this one, uh, all you need is water, some soap, uh, some pepper, and a bowl. So, here we go. We're going to pour the water into the bowl. Okay. Uh, you want to try to fill the top of this water with pepper. I mean, get it full as you can. If your mom doesn't let you use pepper, maybe you can go out and buy some cheap kind. I think any kind will work. Uh, my mom doesn't know that I'm using this pepper, so I'm just using it. Okay, so that's about good. The top is full. Uh, then you want to get some soap on your finger. Okay, got some soap on my finger. And then you just stick your finger in the bowl. And the pepper just kind of spreads out. It's pretty cool. Uh, it kind of spreads out in a star shape. If you can't tell, there's no pepper on the top. It kind of all sunk down to the bottom because of the chemicals in the two different kinds. So that's a cool one. It's cooler if you do it yourself. But, yeah, that's, that one's pretty cool. All right, and the third step, it's not, or the third one, it's not really a science experiment. It's just pretty cool. You get a glass, some water. Uh, you pour the water into the glass. And then this is just regular extra light olive oil. And, uh, I mean, you can use any type of olive oil. But you just pour it on in there. And as you can see, all of it went down under the water and the chemicals separate from each other so now there's a line of olive oil on the top floating on the water and the water is just I mean you could drink that because it has nothing in it so there was the third one hope you enjoyed my video hope to see you again I know they're kind of corny but thanks for watching See ya.